Je hope mkopoa. Wala it's a very uh, sad story kwa mwanzetu huyu ambaye tumempoteza. Alikuwa na tulikuwa tunafanya naye kazi huko Katara, ametoka juzi ya kihome. So kwa process ya kukuja kurudi huku. Sasa alipokuwa amefika Nairobi wanasema ilikuwa early in the morning 5. So alikuwa kwa process ya kwenda airport so amewawa na machambazi mm. siju ni criminals siju ni kusetiwa i don't understand her post hiyo story mimi imenichanganya i'm still in shocked cause walimnyanganya kila kitu simu yake kitu yenye walimwachia tu ni files files zenye alikuwa nazo zenye na passport zenye alikuwa ameweka kwa file unaona so polisi ilimpata tu kwa njia kama amekufa amewawa kifo kibaya alikuwa na peace ameshuka peace amevurutwa hizo peace peace imebaki tu huko nyuma peke yake hapo huko mbele kuote kumetoka ni kama wamegonga kichwa hata imevunjika mm wamegonga mdomo mpaka imeruti ndani na wakamtunga mpaka na kisu so walimnyanganya kila kitu yenye alikuwa na file tundi alipaki nayo ndio polisi wakati ilikuja ika ikaangalia hiyo file vizuri alikuwa ameandika namba ya brother yake hapo ndani ndio ikapikia brother yake I can't explain how much about my sister's death because I was just called by police and I was informed that they had picked her somewhere after she had been attacked by thugs so by the time we were reaching her she was unconscious and uh, at Kenyatta National Hospital. So the doctors tried their best but uh, they could not. She had been injured. So we don't know the motive behind her death. Uh, we don't know if it was a, a plot to kill her. We don't know if it really they were thugs but she left us. So we are trying our best to give her a befitting send off. I'm from Webuye where she was married before leaving to try and look for a way to uh, get school fees for her kids and uh, I think I need just to step in to ensure my sister uh, body arrives there and she she's given a befitting send off because at the other on the other side uh, I need to step in to assist them I don't see if they are in a position so as friends you can chip in assist us and uh, ensure I get a way to take the body to Ebuye her home is in Viga but now because that's the place where she has the kids and they are there we can't go against the the, the lawyer norms of burying her somewhere we'll just have to join hands together and take the body to Ebuye that's where she was married but now as the brother i need your help yeah that is this case uh she the body is lying at Kenyatta national hospital mortuary and uh we are trying to put things together so if you came if you if you're going to come to aid us we'll be very grateful so that we may be able to ensure the body reaches webuye i'm right away from webuye but as things are i'm just supposed to come in handy through friends so that my sister's body reaches webuye and we lay her to rest You know Noel was the sole breadwinner. The husband was just there at home. So she had to ensure while at the Gulf she was to ensure her, 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 her children are schooling. 
She has to ensure things are going on well back at home. She was trying her best. But let us also pray for her children. Because I have one in the house. She has been crying for the last two days. Those are some of the photos uh, during her last days. They even the, the skull was cracked. I don't know what kind of crude weapon they used. Even they knifed her. At a Dania Mdomo. Oh, Mdomo Kangaliata, Libido Mishon, or two. So, we want to look Specific less is a jewel because the last time you again, no, I like a at semana like a Nairobi hospital to get a story a medical though I only will have a life. So, after that, you see who you want to text upon a reply. So, finally, <laughs> the next time you go to report, you hear report your police. So, which part of Nairobi is a jewel? Not at a police police sana mambo because as a to but she doesn't